Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today I have a little project share and a tutorial. Um, I had purchased this charm at Michael's recently. It is in their new like summer kids crafting section. They have beads and friendship bracelets and lots of different charms and things to make jewelry. So I thought this was super cute. This was $3.99, their regular price. But um, I got it because I thought it was something that we, cr we could recreate with products that we already have. And in doing so, we could scale it to whatever size we want and customize the colors and that sort of thing. So um, I did make a few and I wanted to share them with you and then show you how I made them. So like I said, this is the one for Michael's and it's got pom-pom ice cream scoops and then the cone is like glittered faux leather. So, and there's a jump ring that goes through, through the top and the inside is like a plastic cone or something it looks like, which I didn't have, but I didn't really need it in what I made. So let me show you a couple of the ones that I made. Um, I thought this one was super big. So the first one I made, I made a little bit smaller and this is the one I used um, some chunky, faux leather from Hobby Lobby, and this is just the gold uh, gold glitter one. I used some white pom-poms that I got on clearance recently from Michaels. Um, the white icing, I don't really like it. it it's um, puffy paint that I had bought at Walmart a while ago, and I think it's just too thick for this project. I did like the the strawberry sauce that I used and what I use for that is uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops and this color is called Carnation Pink. So I like that. I added some, um, I sprinkled some glitter on that. I thought that was okay and I used a little sprinklets from Buttons Galore for the strawberry on top. And then I just punched a hole through one of the pom-poms to add a jump ring. So that's the first one I made. Uh, this was just basically the tester one. I don't love it. I didn't really like the size of the cone. I think it's too long and pointy. Um, smaller than the original, but still not as small as I wanted. So then I made this one, which I like a lot better. So you can see the size difference. And this one, um, I used the same chunky glitter faux leather for the cone. I added some teeny mini rickrack along the edge of the cone just to add a little like, I don't know, it looked kind of like a cone, you know, um, icing or something. Um, I used some of those little pom-poms again. I used that same glossy, ac or not glossy accents, Nouveau drops for the uh, like strawberry sauce. Um, I added some faux sprinkles that I had gotten from Buttons Galore as well. And this for the, um, for the whipped cream, I used some pearl drops that I have that I'll show you as well. And I also stuck in another one of those sprinklets from Buttons Galore added a jump ring and I think that one came out really cute. I like the size. As you can see, it's like the smallest one out of those. So that's that's one that I like. Let me sh show you a couple more. This one, um, I used the same faux leather. I used the same pattern for the cone. This one I used some white mini rickrack and I used some pink mini pom-poms that I had in my stash. Um, I added some blue sprinkles for this, and this one I made like a, I don't know, it looks kind of like a, like a pineapple sauce or something like that. That was also a Nouveau Drops that I had in my stash. I added some more of the pearl paint, and for the top I added a pearls from Buttons Galore, um, also one of their little candies, and I put some glitter on the top as well. This one I added a little spoon charm that I had gotten from Etsy recently and I'll put the link down below for those if you're interested but I thought those were really really cute. I like the color combination of this one and then I made one with something other than pom-poms. This one I used Buttons Galore pearls and I think those are really cute too. I used the pearl paint for like a I don't, it looks kind of like a like a glossy marshmallow topping to me and um, again with the rickrack and the 
jump ring in the back, and a little candy on top that I just glued on. Um, for inside the cone, instead of that plastic base that I saw in the Michaels one, I just added a pom-pom or two, depending on the size. This one's kind of tiny, but um, that's just fine. You know, you just hot glue it in there, and it works great. And then instead of cones, I found these little, um, they're like dessert cups. I found these from Etsy as well. And I'm um, sorry for that noise, but let me show you one um, pre-embellished. They're so cute. They're these little pale pink cups. They're, they look like, like um, you know, like wafer cones kind of, but the base is like heart-shaped. On the inside, it says takeout, but I just kind of cover that up. And uh, they're really tiny, as you can see. So let me show you a couple. I think these are so cute. These little sundaes that I made. Ooh, aren't they cute? And these, I think, the adding the spoon to them look really cute because, you know, you don't really eat a ice cream cone with the spoon, but, you know, a sundae cup you would. So I used some pom-poms that I have from Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio. Um, I also used some of that, like, pearl... Um, Nouveau drops that I have, added some sprinkles, and then these are little banana slice sprinkles that I had gotten from um, Happy Kawaii Supplies on Etsy. I'll link that down below as well. So for this one, I added a um, lobster claw clasp on the top and made it a little dangle. So it's a little summery themed ice cream sundae. So cute, right? And then the last one I made is like that, but it's um, all different color pom-poms and some more of that like pineapple-y Nouveau drops. I added a Buttons Galore Pearl on the top. These are great because they don't have holes in them, so it doesn't look like a bead. This one, I, this big beads, I added some little like bugle beads on the top to look kind of like, kind of like big chunky sprinkles and added the, another spoon and then a lobster clasp or lobster claw clasp to make a little dangle. So yeah, so those are cute. So I am going to show you how easy it is to make these. Um, just I, I thought it was really fun and it's a craft you could do like all summer long, I think with kids and whatever. So let me just get all my supplies out and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's make one of these little mini cones together. Um, what you're going to need to do is cut out like a wedge shape of a piece of paper to use as a template. And if you, you can make it any size you want. If you want to do the same size I did, just follow these measurements, okay? So this is a one and three quarter inch square piece of cardstock. It's just, just any paper that you have a scrap, you know, just to use as a template. So cut it, like I said, one and three quarter inch by one and three quarter inch. And then what you're going to do is on two adjacent sides, you're going to mark um, three quarters in from the corner, three quarters of an inch in from the corner. So from the corner here to here is one is three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to put it on my um, little mat here. So I will mark it. That's three quarters of an inch from the edge. And then just turn it and do the same thing in from this corner. So three quarters of an inch is here. Okay, let's measure twice. Cut once, right? <laughs> All right, so this is three quarters of an inch here and that's three quarters of an inch here. So this is an inch and that is an inch. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut from this line to this line and that's going to give you an inch so when you're done you'll have a wedge with an inch on one side and an inch on the other side at the perfect angle so let me get my scissors you can use scissors you can use um you know a paper trimmer whatever okay so this is an inch long and this is an inch long and what you're going to do is make um just like trace a curve here. And the way I do it is I just used a circle die that I have in my stash. Um, this is a about a one in, mm, almost a two inch circle. So I just hold this up from the, up at the uh, bottom like this and just trace around 
so it's a wedge. And from the center point to this point should be about an inch as well. So you can measure that. Now, again, you don't have to do it like this. I just wanted it to be like, a, you know, like a perfect um, wedge. But you could just do it freehand too. All right, so that's an inch to there, an inch from the bottom to the top. Then I'm just gonna take my circle die and just trace an arc from corner to corner. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then you just cut it out. You know, there are so many ways to make an arc like this. You can use a protractor, but I think just tracing something that you have handy is easy. I didn't have a protractor. I guess I could go up to my son's room and borrow his, but no. So this is your template. And what you're going to do is take your template and trace it onto a some sort of material that you're going to use for your cone. Now, I just bought this at Hobby Lobby. This is um, their faux leather ribbon in their ribbon section. And this week it was 50% off, so it was $250. And this is the same um, kind I used the gold one here, but I wanted to recreate the Michaels one, and this was a little bit closer to me. So, and I already cut out a piece, and that is my cone cut out of the faux leather. So then what you're gonna do is get some good glue, like either, or I, I don't mean good glue, but really sticky glue, like Fabri-Tac or hot glue. And you're gonna form your cone thusly. <laughs> you're gonna start at the point there fold the two ends in and just overlap them a little bit like that. And that's going to be your cone. So you're just going to run some glue down one side, overlap it and press it down. So if you want to use hot glue, make sure you keep your fingers protected. I'm using a little finger protector thingy. And I also use like a stylus to help me like press down the glue so I don't have to use my fingers. So let me get out my glue gun. I'll show you how I do it. I just go down one side, just a light coating of glue. Okay, and then, actually I don't even need this right now. And then just fold that over, just enough so it's pretty much closed at the bottom there. Okay, and then just press it together. And you've got a little cone cute little size cone. I think this is a good size for a charm. It's small, but it's big enough to add a bunch of pom-poms to. You can go smaller if you want or bigger. So there we go. So now we're going to add some pom-poms. Um, I have all these. These I gotten from Michael's, but um, like in a pack, I just put them in these jars. And these are my Creative Mojo Wholesale Studio ones. So I think this time let's do, let's do light pink. Just like all, of, did I do that already? I did do light pink already. Let's do the darker pink. So it's usually like one or two in the bottom and then three on the top. Um, you can even just fill this up with some fiber fill if you don't want to waste your pom-poms or put a bigger pom-pom in there. So I probably should do that. Probably get out a bigger pom-pom. Let me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't have any like medium-sized ones. So these are a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to stick a couple of white pom-poms in there. First, got to add some glue. So get out your hot glue or whatever glue you're using and just run some in there. Of course, how come every time I'm filming, I need to add a new glue stick? <laughs> should think ahead, right? All right. So just add your pom-poms in there. This one, two should do it. Just press them in so they're below the top level. And that just adds some stability to your cone and it adds a surface to glue on your ice cream scoops too. So there's that. All right, so now we're gonna add, just you know, dry run your pom-poms and see how you want them to go. This one, I think we'll do three like that and then one on the top. So, oops, he ran away. All right, so take your glue again. I like using the high temp glue because it gives you a little bit more time for it to dry. 
and the low temp, but either way works. All right, so we're gonna have two in the front, one in the back, and then just kind of press them together, press them down. Just hold them till they dry. Voila. Okay. Let me get this glue off me. Whoopsie. You ever get those like glue strings and just kind of whips your project around? <laughs> All right. So there's that. Now the next thing you can do now or later. I think I like to do it later just because I'm going to add some like icing to it. But if you're not going to add icing, you can go ahead and add a jump ring through this now and then put it on top or wait till later. And I'll show you how to do it later. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and add the top one on there. Make sure you keep an eye out of where the back is just so you make the front the prettiest part. And then just add a little glue to that one and put it on top. There's our cute little comb. Oh, it's so cute, right? And they all come out a little bit different, you know, depending on exactly how tight you form your cone. Yeah, so that's cute. Let me get some rickrack and we'll add that to it as well. Okay, I have this small rickrack from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to add. I just really like how it looks on the on the side of the cone. So um, for this, I'm just going to use some Fabri-Tac. I think it's a little bit easier to maneuver the trim, you know, like you can adjust it a little bit as you're going. So let's do that. I'm going to just run a bead of glue all around the edge of the comb. Oh, I'm going to start my glue first. Okay. Just go all the way around. Like so. Take your trim. Start at the back. And then just press it down as you turn. And like I said, you could adjust it when you're done since it's just, it's small, it won't dry yet. And then just figure out where to cut it first. You could always cut it before you do this. But I don't think I had that much. Okay, so there's the end. And just make it even. I'm going to move it up a little bit. And press it on. Cute. Okay, there we go. Um, now, while it's drying, it's a good idea to put it in something that's going to hold it upright. And when I say drying, I mean once you start adding like the whipped cream and stuff. So I use mini glass bottles or plastic bottles that I have in my stash. Just, you know, do a dry run first to test if they hold it up. So that does a good job and it keeps it nice and steady. Pretty much. <laughs> Um, all right, so let me cover up my glue and then I'll show you how I do the Nouveau Drops. I was thinking I'd use like the yellowy one. This is the color. It's called Buttermilk, I think. Yes, Buttermilk Crystal Drops. And this is really fun. So put it in your jar and then you're just going to like start adding globs and then just kind of like go down a little bit as you're squeezing. And that'll leave, let me show you one. That'll make it look like that, like those little blobs. Nouveau drops are pretty thick, so they do um, flow a little bit, but not too much. So let's try it and I'll show you how I do it. So I just add a glob in the middle and then just kind of like bring it down. Just like kind of pretend you're adding some sort of sauce to actual ice cream. This is a good way to use up your Nouveau drops too. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? And so that'll flow a little bit as it's drying. 
So I'm going to put it in there. Now this is going to take a while to dry. So I'm going to leave that, go do some errands and stuff, and then be back and I'll show you how to finish it up. All right, so see you soon. Okay, it's been about an hour, so I just wanted to show you um, how to put sprinkles on. It's pretty self-explanatory. The Nouveau drops are not dry, but um, now is a good time to add sprinkles because it's pretty much done flowing, and you could just stick in sprinkles wherever you want now. Um, I'm cutting some of the larger ones in half. They just um, cut right in half. They're made out of like clay. Um, this is a pack that I got from, I think it was Happy Kauai Supply as well on Etsy. It comes with little yellow and white sprinkles and with little banana slices. So I figured I would use those for this. So I just like to use tweezers and I just grab, whoops, um, I just grab like one end with my tweezers like that. And then just kind of, I already did one and then just kind of, um, you know, just stick them in somewhere and press them in lightly like that. And that's what that looks like. So I just wanted to do this now before it got really set. And I think we'll probably move on to the whipped cream too. You don't have to add whipped cream, but um, I will just to, to show you how to do it. All right. These are a little big, but I think it's okay. Let me find a smaller one. Just a few yellow, a few white. Just put them in randomly like you would find sprinkles. And I think that's good because I want to leave space for the whipped cream. Okay, uh, for whipped cream, I use either two of either of these two. Um, this is Nouveau Crystal Drops and this is called Simply White. This one works really well. Or this is like a Pearl Drops I got. It's um the Recollections brand from Michaels. It came in a pack with three other colors. But I think I'm going to use the Nouveau one because this is the one that looks really marshmallowy. So let's just use that. And I'm going to leave it in my little glass bottle. This I'm just going to do like a little dollop on the top. So... Let's see, I'll bring it up so you can see a little better. So I just kind of start in the middle and then just swirl a little like that. And now you want to add um, some kind of fruit or, you know, a little bead or something. So I think I will add, let's add a... Uh, um, pearls from Buttons Galore. I'm going to use a teeny pink one. That looks like that. And um, you can either just drop these in or, you know, use tweezers. So I'm going to try and drop it on here. Sometimes it gets stuck to my tweezers. Let's just scooch it off. There we go. And then just press it down a little bit just so it sticks in there like that. All right. And now I think I'll add another sprinkle or two. Let's add a yellow one up on top of the whipped cream. I added that whipped cream a little crooked, but that's okay. Still looks cute. All right. And while this is drying, let me just show you on one that's dry how to add a jump ring. Okay, this is one of the ones that I had made before. And uh, the other one's just, it's going to take like till tomorrow to dry. So I wanted to, to show you now how to add the jump ring. Uh, what I do is I get a needle. This is like um, just a sewing needle that I have sitting on my craft desk in a pin cushion and you're going to take it and go through from one end of the top pom-pom to the other and just make a hole and this one is already done because I did it before but you just press it through like that and you can go right through the Nouveau drops just you know give it some firm pressure and make make a hole okay and then once you do that take a jump ring 
Okay, so here's the jump ring that we're going to add. This is just a um, larger one. It's a 9 millimeter one that I got from Hobby Lobby. And you're just going to open it up with um, two pairs of jewelry pliers. Just hold one end on one side and, one, and the other end on the other and just twist apart from each other. So you open up your jump ring pretty wide. Okay, and then you find your hole that you had made before with the needle and take one end of the jump ring and feed it through so it comes out the other side. And just hold on to your charm so it doesn't break. If it doesn't want to go in the other way, try the, the, uh, the other end of the hole. And then my nails are in the way, so it, otherwise you could just use your fingers and get it through. But let's try that again. It goes through that way. Okay. Okay, see, so, and it came through that way. So then just pull it all the way through. And then reclose or close the ends of the jump ring by taking either end with your jewelry pliers and twisting it back into shape. And that'll keep it um, pretty circular. Oops. And then for the um, joint, just twist your jump ring around so that joint is like inside the pom pom. And that way, you know, whatever charm or clasp you add to this won't come loose. And there you go. And then you can go ahead and add more jump rings and dangles and clasps and just hang it from our project. And once it's dry, it's nice and glossy. It's not going anywhere. Um, the ones that I use the little dessert cups for, I just put some glue or and or some uh, Nouveau drops on the base and then pressed the pom-poms in and built them up just the same way as the ice cream cones. So this is the one we're waiting for to dry and the one that we made together. I think it's super cute and uh, I can't wait to um, pass these on to some crafty friends. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to help. Again, you can use, you can make these any size you want. I just kind of played along or played around with measurements and I found a one inch wedge was the, um, the size that I wanted. And yeah, it's really fun. I can't wait to make some more with different glitters and sprinkles and toppings and, you know, color coordinate them and I'm going to have ice cream cones coming out of my ears, I think. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me today. Again, any questions, let me know. And I will list the materials I used in the description box. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.